Hi, my name is Maria Dinwoody, and today I will be showing you how to bring in a scanned invoice PDF file, put your stamp on each one of the invoices, and then send it off to your property manager for approval. This is video one of two videos. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to bring in a scanned invoice file that has more than one invoice in it. In the second video, we're going to show you how to bring in a scanned invoice file with more than one invoice in it, and then single files from each of your vendors that might be sending you PDF files. Before we get started today, I want to make sure that you have access to the stamp that I sent you and also know where your invoice files are saved on your hard drive. The very first thing that we're going to do is go in and load Adobe Acrobat. So if you look at the bottom of my screen here, I have an icon for it and I'm going to click on it to open it up. The next thing you're going to do is choose File, Open. And you're going to look for the scanned file. In this case, my scanned file is called scan underscore 0003. I'm going to open that file. And if you notice in this file, as I scroll through it, it's got quite a few different invoices. Now, the very first thing I might want to do is actually put these in alphabetical order if they've not already been put in order before the scan. I'm going to go here to More Tools. I'm going to go to Organize Pages. And here is where I can move these around. So if you see here, I've got, and of course, we're going to remember our logos as we've been paying these invoices all along. I can see my logo Duggan, so I know that that starts with a D. I'm going to click and drag that over to the front. I'm going to drag the other Duggan to the front. And then the Alliance glass is going to be dragged to the front as well. Now it looks like everything's pretty good. Um, this particular one here is Turks, and I know that it's a balance due, and it's not something that is an actual invoice, so I can actually delete it if I want to. It's going to confirm the delete, and now I have all the invoices that I would need to pay. I'm now going to close and see that everything is in alphabetical order. The next step will be to add your stamp. So in order to do that, we need to edit this. So we're going to go to Edit. Edit text and images. And then once we do that, you'll notice that it will come back in and just put these little boxes around everything. I'm going to just tell this not to show me this message again. And we sort of scroll down, you can see all the different boxes. So the first stamp is going to go into my Alliance Glass Corp invoice. I'm going to choose Add Image here at the top. And I'm going to choose my stamp and open, and then I'm going to drag it, if you notice over here, I'm going to drag this with my mouse, I don't need to click, I'm just going to drag, and once I put it where I want it, I can click, and there it is. Now if I don't like where that stamp is, I can just come here with my four-way arrow and drag it over. Now in order to fill this in, I'm going to have to choose to add text. I'm going to go here and add text, and then I can bring my cursor here and add text wherever I would like. The code here is Alley Glass. I can now come to the invoice number. And now that I'm here, I can still scroll up and down. See how my cursor is still blinking, but I'm able to scroll. I can come up and see what my invoice number is, which is 29797. I can look at the invoice date which is 317. And the description here is installation windows in the gym. My GL account number is 6516. And the amount of this is 349650. See how freely I can move around when I'm in the edit mode of adding text. Okay, once that's done, I can click anywhere on this invoice and notice again, there's the invoice and there's the stamp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to repeat this. Okay, now I'm in this Duggan invoice, I can add an image. 
add the stamp again, drag the stamp here. Notice that it's pretty big and it's overlaying information, which I don't want to have happen. So I can actually drag this stamp down if I want to somewhere else that it fits. Again, I'm going to add text. I can scroll back to get the invoice number. And scroll back again to get the date of the invoice. And here, I've made a mistake. The invoice number is actually not that. I'll scroll back up, it's actually 50060. So all I have to do is double click on that and I can change it. If I want, I can get my four-way error and I can move that if I want. Same thing here, I can choose to move that around. Now I'm gonna to continue to fill this out obviously and then I can come to my next one, do the same thing, click here, add an image, add the stamp, move the stamp to where I want. Again, it's too big here. I need to find out if I can add it down below. And again, it might be too big anywhere, so I can actually make it smaller by dragging it and making it smaller. And then I can click and move it anywhere I'd like and then fill it in. Now, once I've done this with each one of these, all I need to do is save the file to a file name that I want so I can send it off to my manager for the approval. So I'm now gonna to go to File, Save As. In this case, it's asking me if I wanna save it in a recent folder and choose which folder I wanna put it in. I am gonna to choose to put it in the recent folder and I'm gonna name it whatever I want here. So in this case, I'm gonna call it Midway Oops, go back midway. And then I'm going to call it uh, invoices March 31st. And then I'm going to choose save. So that puts that file out there on my desktop or wherever I've chosen to save it so that when I go to send it to my property manager, all I have to do is put that inside the email. So that's all that you'll need to do for an invoice file that's sent to you from your property manager. Please look at our next video, video two, which will show you how to bring in more than one PDF file and combine them and do the same thing that we just did with the stamp and approvals.